Hey, what's up, YouTube? Today we're doing an informational video. And say you're building a gaming PC and don't know what CPU to get between AMD and Intel. Well, don't worry, I got you covered. We're doing a comparison between the AMD A350 and the Intel i5. Let's get started. <laughs> So first off, we have the Intel i5, and right now it's clocked at 3.4 gigahertz with turbo boost at 3.8 gigahertz. And right now you can pick it up at Newegg for right around 214. And if you go on different websites, you'll probably find it for different prices, probably very up and down and all that. But if you get this, it's really good for gaming. Intel is one of the better CPU makers that are way ahead of its time for gaming. So if you plan on doing a lot of gaming or stuff, I'd really recommend with the i5. And it already has integrated Intel Graphics 4000, so if you plan on doing like light gaming, like nothing intense like Battlefield or anything, and you just watch YouTube videos like 1080p content, you'll be fine with Intel um, Integrated Graphics 4000 because Integrated 4000 graphics are really good. And when you're building your computer and all that, and the Intel i5 processor only uses 77 watts and later on once I talk about AMD it's going to use a lot more so 77 watts is not that bad and so it'll save on your electricity bill so you won't have to pay as much and you don't have to get as big as power supply and it's just better overall not to use more watts. Also the Intel i5 processor does not include hyper threading. In case for those people who do not know what hyper threading is um, some of the Intel chips have hyper-threading, like the i3 or the i7, and so for, for example, the i3 has hyper-threading, and right now it's a dual-core, but with hyper-threading, Windows will see it as a quad-core, and they'll use all four cores, instead of just having it being two cores, it'll double the amount of cores that it actually had, which is really nice, but the i5 does not have it, so there's one disadvantage, but it, again, it's already quad-core. Then again, uh, if you go Intel, you're going to be lacking overclocking, but you can overclock it slightly, but AMD is really known for their overclock ability. And so you're not, you're basically going to be stuck with the clock speed that it's basically set with. So if that's fine with you, then go with Intel. Another bad thing about Intel is if you plan on doing a lot of video editing, um, Intel is not the best. Well, if you go with an i5 because it only has four cores and the AMD has up to eight cores. And when you're video editing and it's rendering, it takes advantage of all the amount of cores it has. So four cores is not that many compared to AMD's eight core. So if you're video editing, I'd probably go AMD. But if you just do games and some surfing and all that, i probably recommend to go with Intel. Next up, we got AMD. And the one we're going to be comparing the i5 to is the 8350. The 8350 is a quad core AM3, AM3 Plus socket board. And it's going to be running around 199 so it's a little bit cheaper than um, the i5, but it's not that big of a difference when you're building a game PC. And it's clocked at 4 gigahertz, and with turbo, it gets up to 4.2 gigahertz. And it's going to be slight, well, massively um, more voltage than the i5. This one has 125 volts. So you're going to be using more electricity, your bill is going to be higher, you guys will get a bigger power supply in that. And when you overclock, it's going to use even more. So with AMD, of course, you get a lot more, like it's a lot easier to overclock. So that's nice too. And so with 8 cores, it's really good for video editing. So if you're going to do a lot of video editing, I really recommend to go with AMD because it'll, whatever software you use, it'll take advantage of all the cores and it'll put different tasks for each eight cores and it'll run a lot faster so when you're rendering and all that it'll go by a ton faster but if you plan on doing a lot of gaming as I said before go with Intel because AMD just isn't that doesn't take advantage of all the hardware that a gaming takes up and but now later on this year later this year and early next year a lot of these games are going to be doing hyper threading so like before I said that it'll take advantage of all the cores and with AMD it already has 8 cores, so um, the games will be able to take care of all 8 cores, because right now Battlefield, I think is one of the most, and Crisis 3, 
I take quad core, but the rest just take dual core, like Black Ops and all that, it's dual core, so you don't even need a quad core for most gaming PCs, but I just recommend it to do it. So if you plan on doing a lot of video editing, I'd say go with AMD. If you plan on just doing some web surfing, watching videos, or gaming, I'd probably go with Intel. Intel is slightly more expensive, but you're probably going to get a little bit more uh, work out of it, and it's probably going to run slightly better than the AMD chip. That's my review, and leave your comments on what chip you have in your computer, and what chip you want, and tell me what you like about this video. And if you're not already, subscribe, and hit that big like button. I'll see you next time.